God. Are we live? What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Soul Ties. You know what? I just want to shout out everybody who's been watching, everybody who's ever liked the video, who's ever shared or, or commented on the video. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for the love and for the support. Um, thank you for watching my videos. Um, I know they take your time. You know, you could spend your time doing lots of other things, but you're watching my videos. Thank you. Appreciate every single one of you. It's been it's been about two weeks since I've even uploaded a video. Um, and I want you guys to know that uh, I was just working on getting things, you know, to give you a lot better quality content. And um, shout out Jair uh, for just giving me tips on things that I can get, you know, um, to kind of um, enhance the quality of the videos. And so, like, all this stuff you see here um, is some of the things he told me. What? Chuck. Oh, it's okay. Okay. All of the things you see here are some of the things that he um, suggested that I could get. So um, I got a Rode uh, video microphone. Um, that's actually hooked up right now, but here's the box. And so that hopefully um, when I'm recording outside and stuff, it has like a, a, a wind. What's that thing called? Just so you can't hear any wind like when I'm outside and stuff. But hopefully, uh, you know, that works. And then this was a little cable that to record on your phone with. Uh, here's a tripod that the f I'm recording on the iPhone right now and it's just sitting on there right now. Um, and it's all hooked up and everything, mic sitting on top. Pretty cool. And so this stuff, you know, I'm just getting to kind of just give you guys better quality video. And I also invested in a stabilizer. Now this is gonna be cool. I haven't messed with it yet or used it. But I'm excited to use this, and um, so I got some ideas to on how to use this and where to use it, and for a video. So uh, stay tuned. I recently celebrated uh, my 28th birthday. Thank you to everyone who wished me a happy birthday. I appreciate you, um, my family, my friends. Appreciate you. Thank you. <clears throat> um, and I wanted to show you guys some gifts that I got um, that my wife got me. And here is a G-Shock. This, uh, I have a few of these. I have a black one, two black ones, and a white one. And she surprised me and gave me a green one, which is pretty nice. I like it. I like G-Shocks. They're durable. Um, the first one I ever got was like in 2012 or 2011 or something like that. And it still works. Um, I've had had the battery replaced a few times, um, but man, they're durable watches. I wear it to work. Um, they take a beating. So that's one gift, and the other is right here. Well, this is the case, but I'm actually wearing the watch. It's the vintage uh, Casio, and as you, if you've seen my uh, camping video, um, I had a. She got me a gold one, but it was like I guess from Walmart. I, I don't know where it was from. But I liked it and I was wearing it, but the battery kept dying and I got it replaced and uh, it still died. So um, they're not Rolexes. These are more like stopwatches, so they do stop. Well, I said I got game cash, awesome. man. Damn, I can't afford it. But um, I like it. You know, it's affordable. It's kind of flashy because it's gold, but I really like it. You know, it's got a vintage look. Let me give you guys a better look. It's digital. So it kind of is both, right? Vintage, but also new and tech. But I, I really like these watches. What else did I get for my birthday? Nothing, huh? Oh, yeah, so <clears throat> shout out my wife. I love you, baby. Um, she pretty much, like, she asked me a couple weeks before my birthday, maybe a month, I'm not sure. Like, she gave me, like, three wishes, like Jeannie, right? And it's funny because she's dressed like Jeannie right now, but um, <laughs> she gave me like three suggestions or three things that I can, or ideas, I guess, or just to give me ideas because I'm always undecided about things. But she said, you know, you can either try, uh, if we want, go to a basketball game. Um, the Nuggets were, it looked like they were going to uh, match up against the Clippers, but um, as you know, Saturday is the first day of the playoffs, so they're not going to actually play the Clippers <laughs> 
but it was possible that they were going to be playing the Clippers in LA in the playoffs for the first time, first time in the playoffs for since 2013, I think. So she gave me a choice to go to that or uh, Anaheim Ducks game, and they're not even in the playoffs. So, but that or um, what was it? Oh, the the Paul George PlayStation shoes, the PG twos, the PlayStation ones. Um, she was willing to play pay the aftermarket prices. So I think the last time that I checked, shout out Nip. Um, they were like going for like four fifty, four fifty or five hundred dollars. Um, so man, um, I thought about it and I thought about it and I thought about it, and I just would rather have you know just spent time like with her and just going somewhere rather than spending that much on uh, shoes. Even though this is soul ties and you know that we will be willing to drop bands. No, I'm kidding, not bands, but we will. We are willing to spend money on shoes, obviously, right? But at the end of the day, they are just shoes. And, you know, to celebrate a 28th birthday, um, a celebration of, of, of life, you know, and, and, and God's gift that he's, he's blessed me, you know, with um, another year and another breath, um, I just would rather spend that with um, making memories someplace, you know. So we're going to go to San Diego this weekend. We're going to spend time over there, and we kind of have our little routine that we always do. Hit up a swap meet, go get something to eat, go to the beach, stuff like that. Um, so I have plans on recording. I'm not going to be editing or spending time doing that, but I, it's not hard to pick up a camera and kind of record. and Just to show you guys where we go, some of the stores, um, swap meets, um, places to eat, you know, what, what, what to do in San Diego. Um, just uh, bring you guys with us, and I'll probably upload that on Monday, Monday night, if if God's willing, and if I'm willing, and I'm not tired, because, you know, vacation is vacation, but who really goes out somewhere and sp stays the whole time in the hotel? Not really, right? You want to be out, you want to go see the sights, you want to go see this and go see that, so sometimes vacation can be exhausting. You know, you get away, and you come back and it's back to work, and you're more tired than before you left. Um, but it's gonna we're gonna have a good time. So again, I want to thank every one of you for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and like it down below. Am I shaking the table? Like it down below. Oh, I almost forgot. I have right here the Soul Ties stickers in hand. I got more. This is just a few of them. They're contour cut. So if you guys would like a sticker, hit me up. I'll see what I can do. If I can get these to you, ship them, uh, whatever it's going to take. Um, if you'd like one, you know, pretty cool. Shout out Rock, uh, Rock All City. Um, I'll leave his link down in the description and I actually put his Instagram name right there. Um, yeah, hit him up. He does lettering. He does, um, obviously, stickers. A lot of graffiti, um, you know. Uh, name work, uh, lettering work. He made this. He, he designed this, you know, so shout out him. Um, yeah, hit me up if you want a sticker and I'll see what I can do. Um, making big moves, man. Making big moves. Um, got So now that I have all this equipment and all these things, I start putting out more content for you guys. Um, quality not quantity right quality not quantity so grace and peace to you guys and i'll see you on the next one